on a 10 minute game 10 0 let's see how we get on just lock the center x-ray through to the king keep it nice and simple and we don't need to take just yet let's just castle king safety x-ray through to the queen and develop the knight very simple straightforward stuff let's get the queen off of the back wait for the pawns to start hitting the um, bishops let's just develop the rook yep so we can take or we can bring the bishop back or we can bring it here I'm plumping for coming here because they've gone for defense nanny state in terms of their pieces so their piece their position doesn't look too bad but it's kind of cramping their attacking potential so we're hoping that we can start developing towards their king as they're starting to mobilize so I'm going to move this knight I think I'm moving the knight I plan to move the knight here anyway to get to their king side so I'm going to continue with that thought process as they're darting around with their knight so they've moved this knight twice with the potential of the thinking well okay if we do take just bring their pawn in but we can lock everything down if we don't do anything what is the um problem they are attacking our queen so that's why they've done that big massive dance just to attack the queen we can take with the bishop as we've said or we can bring the queen here but is that going to make the queen dance a little bit too much what else does the knight have so it got some sort of fork if we come here we're kind of jamming our bishop in a little bit they hit the bishop we bring the bishop back and then they have got a fork on the queen and the bishop so i think simplified terms we may as well just take the knight off the board yep and then we can just look to lock down this area now they're getting all fired up they're moving very quickly i must say so they're looking to double our pawns here we can turn that on its head and bring the knight and attack their bishop and make it a bit more active i think this knight's going to be wanting to move so that this pawn can touch the knight and the um, bishop so they've moved there first so we know that this is going to happen some sort of knight move somewhere so that the pawn can push down and look for a fork on both of these so seeing as we know this can we do something beforehand maybe just move the bishop back or is there something more forward that we can do knight up i'm plumping for bringing the bishop here although the bishop is being protected because when the knight does move it's going to move somewhere because it wants to attack the bishop maybe it's going to attack the knight so if we moved back here and then they attacked the knight then we take the bishop queen takes we can take the knight so i don't think that's going to hurt us is it let's just bring the bishop here so i think we can move quickly from this moment on now just have to take that moment's pause yeah so the knight is moving but it's attacking our queen so we didn't reckon on that so we're going to actually have to take and attack their queen and our queen can escape can't attack their queen but we can come here on the knight that seems appropriate yep so just move the queen out of the way so it's still even stevens move order is a, a key thing in this game opponent slowed down for a brief moment okay so they are attacking the knight now so we can what can we do anything else nothing fancy we're going to have to retreat do we come here or do we come here if we come here we're kind of baiting the pawn to attack again but then the knight doesn't have any other squares to dance to so if we come here we can at least look to attack their knight
So they really have slowed down now. What's the plan of attack? To try and keep this particular... Ooh. So it's almost like a non-move. So we're going to continue and attack the knight like we said. And just trade down. It looks like we're going for trades. They may be looking for the queen to come here to attack this pawn with the bishop having the battery on here like this. So I think that's what they're going to be doing. Our knight can attack their queen, defending the pawn, obviously. Does that work for us? Knight attacks the queen, knight takes the knight, queen takes. I think we can attack the queen, but we're probably inviting it a little bit closer down. It's not going to stay off of this line. Probably going to come here or here. Maybe here, because it's not going to get hit by the pawns so much. So they are looking for this power base here, as we can see. This diagonal going for the quick and dirty. Well, it's not quick and dirty anymore, but we're going for the mate type pattern. Queen does move, so we've done something right. We can actually take this knight now then. I'm surprised they had, yeah, well, they're going to lose it anyway, weren't they? Depending on where the queen went. We're going to take the knight. So kind of got it for free. We could then come here and get the bishop as well. I think we're going to do that without too much thought. Oh, and they've resigned. Nice game.